the World Series of Poker 2022 $777 event. It is a seven max event, seven people at the table plus a dealer. Pretty much my dream tournament. I'd like to bet a lot of money I do well in this event. This is flight 1B, there's still flight 1C, and you can re-enter as much as you want for the first eight hours. $777 a pop, and of course, first place is $777,777. That is the goal. Hopefully we can achieve this goal and uh, run like the sun for the next few thousand hands of No Limit Texas Hold'em Tournament Poker. I have 100% of my action in this event, so every bullet will hurt. Hopefully it's only one, but we did swap out five with Bobby. I do have to put money into my Bravo Live account in person, so hopefully there's not a long line. That's what happens when you just keep losing. You gotta put more money in. Let's get some money out. An invigorating 45 minute wait to put money on my Bravo Poker Live account so I can reg and print out the tickets at a kiosk, which then takes me to a late registration line where I can get my seat. It's just that easy. Maybe I'm weird, but I'm a big fan of the social distancing thing. Not with the, uh, the guidelines or whatever, but in general, I, I like my personal space. The guy was just creeping up on me. You're in a line. No reason to be close. Give me, a, give me a three foot radius. What do you say? Hey, back it up, buddy. Like a close talker from Seinfeld. I love France. I was just there last year. In fact, you know, I still have an envelope full of French francs. I'll get them to you. Anyways, um, little seven max tournament. Let's find some good spots, be aggressive and accumulate. Table is a mixed bag of European pros, recreationals, and Tim Riley on my direct left. Let's have some fun. Let's loosen up those ranges. I open under the gun to 2,500 with 10-9 of diamonds. European male in the cutoff makes it 6,500. I started the hand with 35,000. I contemplate four bed ripping to let them know who's boss, but instead I feel like taking a flop out of position. Good times. We put in the call and the flop comes king seven seven two diamonds. Well, here we go. We check to him. He down bets as predicted at four thousand, and we just rip it all in like twenty nine thousand. Put him to the test for our whole tournament, and he quickly folds. We take it down ten high. Green Blit. Hey. On the 420 break with 50,000 chips from 40,000 starting. The action's really heating up. It's about to be 1,500, 1,500. Stand man. Still in. It's a great event for you. Dog vlog. What's up, Jeff? What's up, brother? All right, dealers. In the lucky sevens, if you started your shuffle, you'll put the hand next to hand. 1,000, 2,000 blinds. 2,000 big blinds. Chip it up nicely. And then we get move tables. 80,000 going to new table at 1,000, 2,000. Let's keep building. 
Lines at 1,500, 3,000 up to 3,000. Other gun plus one opens to 7,000. I'm gonna cut off with ace jack off, so I make it 18,000. And he shoves all in for 100,000. And we fold with 60,000 behind. Alan Jackson. Blinds at 1,500, 3,000, 3,000. The very last hand before dinner break, AKA the very last hand re-entry is available. I have 53,000 in my stack and I'm in the big blind. Under the gun says before the hand is dealt, oh no, last hand before dinner. I always go broke here. I'm like, okay, just fold. He gets dealt a hand and he limps for 3,000. Button doesn't see the limp and makes it 7,000. Small blind folds, I'm in the big blind with pocket sixes. Let's go for it. I'm all in, 53,000. Limper says, ah, fuck it, let's gamble. He has 55,000. Button says, I might as well gamble. And he puts in the call. Limper has king jack, Button has ace queen. We have to dodge four over cards. Let's keep it low, dealer. Oh, here we go. Big three way. You got a pair. Ace high. I like my hand. Dodging four hey, overs. Hey, we can actually stand up for this one because it's great. Keep it low, Keep it low <laughs> dealer. Big triple. Oh, yeah. Deuce down. Deuce down. Yes. Give me a streak. Thank you. Oh, you made the bigger streak. One minute. Nice hand. Good game, guys. And we have 165,000 going on dinner break. It's a turbo, 4K big blind coming up, but we're sitting pretty. Great time. Where are you from? LA. What are you doing here? Pokemon. Max Late Ridge. Max Late Ridge. That's what we like to see. Ten bigs in a dream. Right? Right? No. Yeah, ten bigs. Good luck. Thank you, buddy. You too. Back attack. You got it. Boom. Boom. Fist boom. How's it going, man? Boom. Oh, shit. You're Watch Boski live on YouTube, man. Watch him on YouTube. Greatest vlogger out there. There you go. And Twitch. Dude. And Twitch. Blinds at 4,000, 8,000. We're approaching the money. Player on my right who's very sticky opens to 1,600. I have about 200,000 in ace queen. I make it 45,000. Action folds back to him. And he shows me king, queen, and folds. Good fold. You want to another hand? Complete the hand you're on, hold up, and stand up. Rage 19. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. All right, dealers, please take your seats, but do not deal a hand. Please take your seats, but do not deal. All right, players, congratulations. You are in the money. Two gentlemen chopping up one spot. And we make it into the money with about 200,000. Third cash of the series. Still feeling good about my chances. Boom. First, well, first cash in a bracelet event ever. Right now I'm in the uh, ever. seven. Ever. Lucky seven. You're in the profit. I just cashed in the profit. Boom. Right? Let's go. You got it. I appreciate that, man. Oh, great. Amazing. Oops. Oh, come on. <laughs> Look at the camera. Uh, Look at the camera. 
I appreciate it. Yo, fuck wait, your mom. Wait, wait, wait. I love it. What we, are you doing? You bought the main? We just made the money of the 777. My first, my first bracelet event and a cash. I'm selling it. Lucky Let's sevens. Go. You want to pick Lucky those, Ryan? Dude, yes. Oh my God, of course, man. Are you kidding me? <laughs> What is that, a minor baseball game? Yeah, yeah, the Kaboxy Shuggers. How much are you selling this for? Oh, I'm not really selling them. Just a lot of uh, small, small pots. Going my way and not going my way, but we're staying afloat, staying alive, picking good spots. The blind's at. 6,000, 12,000, really position seven-handed, makes it 24,000 to go. Folds around with a small blind. A man from Minnesota by the name of Allen, who puts in the call, I have ace nine of spades in the big blind at 133,000. 11 big blinds, it is a turbo. Do we take this spot? Do we fold, flat, jam, pick up some dead money, isolate against one person's range? They could have small pairs, king, queen. We're not always behind. I shove all in, original razor fold, and my man Allen quickly puts in the call, shows us that we're in a flip situation. Pocket sevens versus ace, nine suited. Let's go off to the races. Big all in moment. You gotta win your flips. Thank you. Pair. I like that. Mm. <laughs> oh. Take two pair. He threw the set. I know. I had. Mm -hmm. Turn the dealers in the seven seven seven. If you start the show, put that hand. Small blind ten thousand. Big blind fifteen with a fifteen thousand. Big blind eighty. What blinds that? Ten thousand, fifteen thousand, fifteen thousand. Middle position Asian male, age twenty one to forty. He's been very cordial with the table. Open rips, 170,000. Action folds around to me in the small blind. And before I look at my cards, I think these are the good times to wake up with big pairs. We have about uh, 215,000 behind. And pocket tens. We're all in. Big blind folds an ace. And we're up against Jack Nine Offsuit. 350K pot. Let's hold. Window. Oh. 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 oh my gosh. <laughs> After that devastating all in situation, we have to maintain our composure. We still have 3.1 big blinds remaining. We can come back from this. Bring a club, let's go. The guy on my right opens to 30,000. I make it 45,000 with 1,000 behind. Folds back to him, he puts in the call. Collusion, soft play, check it down. I don't say anything, but we do check it down on the jack high board. My jack seven of hearts wins. And we now have over 100,000 chips. The very next hand, I've looked down at 9-8 of hearts. Let's keep the party going. I'm all in. 133,000. Player on my left reshoves for 200,000. We're up against Ace Jack offsuit, and we have the exclusive video. Boom. Suited. Right in the middle. Mm. 10 of hearts for the swing. 48. Good. 15k big blind we now have uh, about 250,000 and we look down at king jack off in middle position what do you do shove min raise open fold i choose to min raise action folds around the same jack nine asian male who's in the big blind and puts on a bit of an acting job before making it 70,000 why so small this has never happened before Probably a monster. We don't even see a flop for 40K more. We just fold face up and he shows us pocket queens. We're in the zone. Let's keep dodging bullets, baby. Oh, Sensu. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 
All right, dealers in the lucky seven, to get started, complete that hand, send your players on a 20 minute break. I buried those cockroaches! Two hundred thousand, last break of the night, going to ten thousand, twenty thousand. A little over a hundred players remain from this flight, eighteen hundred start. Let's bag and tag in three levels, aka ninety minutes. With a twenty thousand big blind ante, early position makes it forty thousand. My man Tony. Puts in the three bet to 100,000. Action folds to me in the big blind. I look down at Allen, Jackson, East, Jack. We put 20K in the middle for the ante. We put 20K in the middle for the big blind. I have 150,000 behind. What do you do with Ace Jack facing this action? Seems pretty close and pretty annoying, but in order to live, you have to be willing to die. We go all in. Assuming the original Razor is going to be dead money for our equity realization. Against Tony's three betting range. Original Razor does fold and we're up against Pocket Kings. I believe we're 30% to win. Hopefully this is our time to win. And we have video. Alright. A lot of aces left. Yeah, you get kings a lot. Yeah, so many kings. Bingo. Oh, look at that sweat. The diamonds, too. Oh, shit. At 20K, big blind. Action folds to me in the small blind. I have a seven offsuit. My opponent has about 600,000. So we're going to apply the pressure and make it 60,000. He puts in the call, and we're off to see a flop of ace, king, 10. I down bet because this board is going to be better for my range in general so I bet 45,000. He puts in the call we're hoping for a brick and the turn is pretty bricky it's a nine. Now I could continue to barrel small targeting some uh, king x and 10x hands but instead we want to throw some checks in here so we have some check calls with our top pair. We check and he checks behind so at this point I'm putting him on something like king 10 maybe a king jack, jack 10, when the river brings a nine, I have to decide if I want to value bet and target his lesser two pairs or check call and hopefully he bluffs with his missed straight draw. All of his queen X and king X combos. Or wait. All of his queen X and jack X combos. I don't even know what the board is. It's two in the morning. All said and done, I check, he bets, 85,000. We got my man taking pictures of me while I'm in the tank. I put 85,000 in the middle and he shows me queen eight for the bluff. And we pick up a nice pot, we're up to 655,000 chips in the money. About to bag and tag. And raise the blind. 10,000 small blind, 25,000 big blind, 25,000 big blind ante. 1035, What blind's that? 10,000, 25,000, 25,000. Action folds to my man Allen on my right in the cutoff. Very active, aggressive opponent. He opens to 50,000. I'm on the button with King Queen offsuit. Diamonds and clubs. I put in the three bet, 135,000 to go. The blinds fold and Allen goes deep in the tank. He's thinking about what he's gonna do. It feels like he's gonna fold. Got a good live read for these feels and gestures, but eventually he puts in the call. The flop comes eight, six, four. We did not connect and it's two spades. We don't have a spade. He checks and we wanna fold out all of his ace highs, hopefully and some uh, random crap that he uh, called our three bet with. We're gonna continue the story to the tune of 150,000 chips, planning to obviously fold to a jam or probably give up unless a clean 
king or queen comes off on the turn. Hopefully he folds. He does not fold. He puts in the call. He's probably mid-pair heavy at this point. The turn's the ten of spades, and he checks. We beat nothing. Do we shove our last 300k in? Just hoping to brute force and take down this pot. Sometimes you gotta know when to hold them and know when to fold them. We check behind. The river is a offsuit four and he bets 200,000 and we fold. The table's been very, very friendly. They're showing hands almost every single hand. All you gotta do is guess what someone has and they'll show you their hand. Every pot won. He later tells me that he did in fact almost fold pre-flop and his hand was king queen of spades. He made the flush on us. So good thing we didn't punt it off on the turn. Fifteen thousand, thirty thousand. Big blind anti format. Action folds around to me in the cutoff, and I have ace ten and three hundred and five thousand. Pretty easy jam. Action folds around to my man Tony in the big blind, who has about three hundred fifty thousand. He starts laughing. Is this good or bad news for me? And he puts in the call. And we're up against pocket eights. Another race situation. Let's get there. Big flip. Eights versus ace ten. We have bagged and we have tagged. Bag and tag. The 777, 777K, seven max event, the slot machine. Five hundred and eighty thousand in the bag, going to twenty thousand, forty thousand, thirty minute levels. It's a turbo, but that's fine. I'm happy with my push fold, call shove game, short stack, ICM, re stealing, all that good stuff. We're coming back on Wednesday. Five percent of each flight will advance, so over ninety-five percent of every flight will be gone when we come back for day two. I had a great feeling about this one. Hopefully the premonition comes true. Let's run pure. Day two, baby. Stay tuned. Make sure you like and subscribe and hit the alerts bell so you know when I put out new videos. It's free. Subscribe. It doesn't cost money. It shouldn't be called subscribe. And I'm out. This is Tony, who I battled with for the last six hours. Tony, say hi to YouTube. Hi, good, good, good. Double him twice. <laughs> And we have our neighbor from Minnesota, Alan. A very tough player. It was a pleasure battling with you today, sir. Thank you. Very friendly. Good times. Yeah, absolutely.